Imagine a world where various human species roam the Earth, each adapting uniquely to their environments. This is the fascinating world of early human evolution, where species like Homo ergaster, Homo heidelbergensis, and Homo floresiensis paved the way for Homo sapiens. Welcome back to Unlocking Ancient Family History. In our last episode, we explored the rise of Homo habilis, Homo rudolfensis, and Homo erectus. Today, we're diving into the intriguing stories of other early human species that played crucial roles in our evolutionary journey. Our exploration continues with key human species that lived between 1.9 million and 50,000 years ago. These species, including Homo ergaster, Homo heidelbergensis, Homo floresiensis, Homo naledi, and the Denisovans, each made unique contributions to our understanding of human evolution. First, let's meet Homo ergaster, an early human species that thrived around 1.9 to 1.4 million years ago. Although Homo erectus also originated in Africa, Homo ergaster is often considered a distinct African variant because it displays unique anatomical features and adaptations specific to the African environment. Known for its tall, slender build, ideal for long-distance walking and running, this species also exhibited advanced tool-making skills, creating more refined Aculean tools compared to their predecessors. Homo ergaster's environment was a mosaic of open savannas and woodland areas, which required efficient locomotion and the ability to adapt to a variety of food sources. They developed hand axes that were more symmetrical and standardized than earlier tools, indicating a leap in cognitive abilities and fine motor skills. These tools were used for butchering animals, woodworking and digging for tubers, showcasing their versatility and ingenuity. There is some evidence that Homo ergaster might have engaged in early forms of symbolic behavior, such as the use of ochre, which is often associated with ritualistic and artistic activities. This information is supported by the study, The Surprising Toolbox of the Early Homo Erectus, published by Nature. Next, we encounter Homo heidelbergensis, who lived approximately 600,000 to 200,000 years ago. This species is often considered a common ancestor of both Neanderthals and modern humans. Homo heidelbergensis had a larger brain and more robust build than earlier species. They are known for their use of spears, and evidence suggests they were the first to build simple shelters, providing protection and a base for social interactions. Their ability to hunt large game and use complex tools made them formidable survivors in a challenging environment. Homo heidelbergensis's adaptation to colder climates included making clothing from animal hides and possibly using fire to keep warm. They lived in both open-air sites and caves, which offered them a strategic advantage in different seasons. Their social structure likely included close family groups that cooperated in hunting and shared resources, which helped them survive in harsh environments. Some archaeological sites suggest that Homo heidelbergensis might have had ritualistic burial practices, indicating a form of spirituality and reverence for the dead. This is discussed in the research article 5.3, Tools and Brains, Homo habilis, Homo ergaster, and Homo erectus from Social Sci Libre texts. Another intriguing species is Homo floresiensis, often referred to as the hobbit due to their small stature. Discovered on the Indonesian island of Flores, they lived as recently as 50,000 years ago. Despite their small brains, Homo floresiensis created sophisticated tools and hunted large animals, showcasing their adaptability and ingenuity. Their survival on a small island with limited resources demonstrates their remarkable ability to thrive in isolated and unique environments. The isolation of Flores led to their unique evolutionary path, a phenomenon known as insular dwarfism. This information is detailed in the study, Evidence of Early Human Migration and Toolmaking Challenges Assumptions About Evolution, published by Nature. 
We also explore Homo naledi, who lived around 335,000 to 236,000 years ago. Discovered in the Rising Star Cave System in South Africa, Homo naledi had a mix of primitive and modern traits. They had small brains, but exhibited complex behavior such as deliberate burial of their dead, suggesting a level of social and cognitive development previously thought unique to later humans. This practice indicates a form of ritualistic behavior, hinting at early forms of cultural expression and social structure. This is supported by various findings discussed in the research community. Homo naledi's burial practices suggest a deepening understanding of life and death and may reflect a form of symbolic thought. Their skeletal remains show a blend of features that challenge the linear progression of human evolution, indicating that diverse human forms coexisted and interacted with each other. There is also evidence of possible artistic expression through the use of ochre and other pigments. Lastly, we have the Denisovans, a mysterious species known primarily through genetic evidence. First identified from a finger bone fragment in Siberia's Denisova cave, they interbred with both Neanderthals and modern humans, contributing to the genetic makeup of contemporary populations in Asia and Oceania. The Denisovans left behind tools and ornaments that indicate a sophisticated level of craftsmanship and a deep understanding of their environment. Denisovan genetic markers have been found in modern humans, particularly in Melanesian and Australian Aboriginal populations, suggesting extensive interbreeding. Artifacts from Denisova Cave include bone needles and jewelry, indicating they had developed skills for making clothing and personal adornments, which were crucial for survival and social identity. There is evidence to suggest that Denisovans might have engaged in early forms of art and symbolic behavior, adding another layer to their complex culture. These early human species faced numerous challenges and conflicts. Harsh climates, predators, and competition for resources required them to adapt and innovate continually. Each species developed unique strategies for survival, from advanced tool-making to the use of fire and social cooperation. Homo ergaster, for example, had to navigate the shifting landscapes of Africa, developing endurance, running to hunt and scavenge effectively. Homo heidelbergensis faced the cold climates of Europe, relying on their hunting skills and social structures to survive. Homo floresiensis adapted to the isolated environment of Flores, while Homo naledi's burial practices hint at complex social behaviors. The Denisovans, though less understood, left genetic legacies that continue to impact human populations today. Despite the challenges, these early human species made significant advancements that paved the way for Homo sapiens. Their ability to adapt, innovate, and survive in diverse environments contributed to the rich tapestry of human evolution. Each species left a lasting legacy, shaping the traits and behaviors of modern humans. Genetic evidence has been crucial in unraveling the connections between modern humans and our ancient relatives. Through the analysis of DNA extracted from fossils, scientists have been able to trace the genetic lineage of various hominids, such as Homo ergaster, Homo heidelbergensis, Homo floresiensis, Homo naledi, and the Denisovans. Studies of ancient DNA, particularly from Denisova Cave, have revealed significant interbreeding between these species and modern humans, leaving traces of their genetic material in contemporary populations, especially in Melanesian and Australian Aboriginal groups. This genetic evidence not only confirms our shared ancestry, but also highlights the complex web of interactions that shape the evolution of our species. The earliest genetic evidence, such as that from the Denisovans and Neanderthals, demonstrates how these ancient populations contributed to the genetic diversity we see in humans today, providing a deeper understanding of our evolutionary history and the interconnectedness of all human species. In future videos, 
we will dig deeper into this DNA aspect of human evolution and culture, exploring how genetic studies continue to shed light on our complex heritage and evolutionary journey. As we unravel the stories of these early human species, we see a complex web of evolution, adaptation, and innovation. Each species contributed uniquely to our understanding of human history and the traits that define us today. Stay tuned for our next episode, where we dive into the nitty-gritty details of modern human evolution by exploring the rise of Neanderthals and their interactions with early modern humans. Discover how their legacy continues to influence us today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to join us on this fascinating journey through time.